Well, after that uh, last meter that Ampro passed, I think it's time we throw another one into the scrap pile. So this meter, it's very similar to the uh, Centec here that came from Harbor Freight. Yeah, my gut feeling tells me this meter is going to fail. Yep, very similar. Same case, looks like. You know, nothing real fancy. Yep, same kind of screws holding the case on. Yeah, I'm half tempted not even to run this because, uh, you know, I know it's going to die. But, you know, that's not how you collect data. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is test it. And probably blow it up. Alright, it checks out okay. Functionally, no fuses blown in this one, like the Ampro. So it's good. And I don't have a whole lot of confidence in this meter, but I am testing it at a lot lower than uh, what I blew the other one up at. So, you know, maybe this Maztec will uh, hang in there long enough to figure out kind of where the standard ones die at. Yeah, I think it may be dead. Notice how it's reading like uh, 1 microfarad. 10 amps. It's a very similar failure, I think, to the other one. Okay, so this is a 50 ohm resistor right now. You can see it's reading uh, 94. Uh, this is a 100 ohm. This is a 1000 ohm. 10,000 ohm. Yeah, it looks like we uh, took out part of the attenuator anyway. It's 
got an awful bad offset to it now. That's not even close. That's 100 nanofarads there. Mm. Yeah, look at that. 12.3 volts. Uh, that's what the input is now uh, dead shorted. Yep. Yep. Pass meter's done. Can't even pass cat one. I mean, come on. Really? You got it on here that's a cat three meter? <laughs> I don't get it. Cat two, 1,000 volts. Like, <laughs> cat three, 600. Not even close. Not even close. <laughs> Piece of shit. Okay, so I pulled the mass tech apart. Again, this is the MS-8264. Uh, yeah, it's actually quite a bit cleaner than the uh, the other mass tech that I got from Harbor Freight. It doesn't have near the features, so you'd expect it to be quite a bit cleaner. The other one has uh, two chip-on boards on it. Uh, a lot more wiring. So this is kind of a no-frills meter. But uh, I started to kind of own this out a little bit. Uh, these are the attenuators up the sides here. Uh, this last resistor right here, uh, which should have been 10x bigger over this resistor, appears to be a dead short. Can't tell for sure without unsoldering it and uh, maybe putting a new part in, but uh, yeah, I really am uh, not in the meter repair business. Uh, I'm assuming these meters would all meet what they were rated for, and uh, yeah, this one doesn't cut it. So there you go. Another one dead.